Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to run SQL Server agent jobs in SIS. Generally, after developing the package, we need to deploy the package and in SQL, SQL Server. Then, from then we need to our requirement will schedule the job and the job will run accordingly. So this is the workflow after creating your package and running the job. Now we can also run the job not only from SQL Server Management Studio, you can also run the job even SSIS from SSIS Visual Studio. So if you want to run the job from SQL Server Management Studio, just click the SQL Server agent here and right click and just with the if it is scheduled, it will uh, it will run the job automatically. If you want to run the on ad hoc basis, you need to you need to right click and click the job at step. Then it will execute. It will job will run. Now <coughs> you can also run the job uh, SQL Server Integration Services Visual Studio. So there is one task specifically called Execute SQL Server Agent Job Task. Most of them. I have not known about this task. This is under uh, other tasks. What we are doing as SSIS developer, we use it to execute the data flow task, execute SQL task, expression task, file system task, and script task. We are mainly using. But this is one particular task where you can run your SQL Server jobs by using this task. So once after deploying this task into the data control flow, just double click. So this wizard will open. So it is asking, it is asking the connection. So I want to take the new connection. So this is the connection name. Here I want to specify the job name. Connection name here, nothing but the job name. I have three jobs in my SQL Server Management Studio. So now <coughs> I'm writing the job name, SSIS underscore job. This job I want to execute from this by using this task and specify your server name. My server name is admin and click OK. So see here, all the whatever the jobs you, you have there in the SQL Server agent, all those jobs are appeared here. See, this is the description and all these things are appeared here. Just you need to select the job which you want to to execute from this Visual Studio. Select and click OK. If you want to see view T-SQL, you, you can see this command. This is the command. This is the backend generated T-SQL. So now I want to execute this job from Visual Studio by using execute SQL Server agent job task. Click OK. Now execute your package. See here, execute SQL Server agent job task is successful. That means that the job which is selected in the SSS job, the same job that is appeared in the SQL Server management studio, has run successfully. The, the, if you want to run execute the job, you, you can also run by right click on the job and job start job at step. It will run. In addition to that. We can also run the job by using this execute SQL Server agent job task. Hope this video is helpful how to run the SQL Server agent job using Visual Studio in SSIS. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.